because they're simply in the way of commerce. They're in the way of making money. And how dare you uh, be in our way, you poor, uh, sorry people in Palestine. Gosh, I mean, that's just, I guess, bad luck for you, right? That's how these fucking people think. Greetings, everyone. I hope you are all doing well. This week, a video that's a little outside of the norm. However, I think it's very important because there seems to be just heaps of confusion surrounding this atrocity that's happening in Palestine, where millions of people are being displaced, all in the name of commerce. Because, make no mistake, they are building not a temporary floating uh, dock or port or something. No, this is going to be a permanent fixture in Gaza, and this is going to compete directly with the Suez Canal. And there's some obvious reasons for that. I'll let you figure that out. But, you know, I've been hearing all this talk about anti-Semitism, and it caused me to think, do I really know what the word Semite actually means? And, you know, I had to kind of review that because I wasn't really clear on that. Because I think in most people's minds, they may believe that means Jewish. But actually, that is incorrect. So let's take a look, shall we? Because the important thing, the important point I have here is that if you're using the wrong terms and you're, confu you're, you're using confused language right from the beginning, then what hope do you have at all to arrive at any destination of clarity. Well, you don't, because if you start off confused, then, you know, garbage in, garbage out, you're going to end up in a confused state. Okay. So this is from myjewishlearning.com, and I'll post a link to the article. And I'll read some excerpts here. So to begin with, Semitic, it designates the peoples who have spoken Hebrew, Syriac, Arabic, or some neighboring dialect. And in no sense, the people who are listed in the 10th chapter of Genesis as the descendants of Shem, who are at least half of them of Aryan origin. Going down a little bit further, uh, under uh, defining race, the confusion between race and language goes back a long way and was compounded by the rapidly changing content of the word race in European and later in American usage. Serious scholars have pointed out repeatedly and ineffectually that Semitic is a linguistic and cultural classification denoting certain languages and in some contexts the literatures and civilizations expressed in those languages. So what that means is if someone's anti-Semitic, they are against all of the languages such as Arabic, Aramaic, uh, Hebrew. And so it doesn't directly refer to Judaism. Okay. So there's a big difference uh, when we're talking about uh, anti-Semitism, for example, and anti-Zionism. Okay. Clearly Zionism is a massive problem and we are obviously um, you know, experiencing some some mad scrambling right now. I mean, they you know, TikTok being banned potentially in the United States has nothing to do with the Chinese. It has everything to do with the fact that the Zionists can't control the messages that are coming out on TikTok that are basically pointing out that it's the Zionists that are causing these atrocities all in the name of establishing a port and commerce and making lots of money for themselves. Make no mistake, this is not about religion. This is about sowing division between people and moving forth the, you know, the neo-feudal hegemony establishment, um, you know, and the Zionists are just part of that. They're this idea that there are some humans just by birth that are inherently better because of the vagina that they pass through. Well, this idea also exists in the Arab world, in Saudi Arabia. So, uh, when you think about the uh, divisions that are happening, they want you confused, they want you politically divided and fighting each other because 
That way it keeps us from looking at the hegemony and the royalists and the real people that are just pushing through their agenda and looking to profit from the, the death, the suffering, and the ignorance of millions of people around the world, including Americans and Europeans and all of us unsuspecting people that haven't gotten the message that these people, these royalists, okay, in the West and also in the Middle East, as well as these Brahmins in India and these elitists in the East, they're all working together and they don't want the people to have uh, any sense of what they're doing. So they're going to sow confusion amongst the masses and they're going to start you off with some sort of nonsensical, something that makes no sense at all, like anti-Semitism, okay? How can you possibly be against a language? I mean, maybe if you don't speak the language and you somehow hate it for some reason, but I mean, you don't even know what the language is about, so how could you possibly hate something you don't understand? Um, they want to use race. They want to use all of the things for the smooth brains and the mouth breathers that to get all upset about and emotionally provoke. They just want to provoke you. It's the same old story that's been happening for such a long time, but really... It's time to wake up, people. It's time to see things as they truly are. This isn't a matter of the Arabic world versus, you know, Israel and poor Israel's being attacked. No. Judaism and Islam have a long and close kinship together. So that idea that somehow, you know, people in uh, Iran and people in Israel are mortal enemies, well, then can you explain to me why there are 30,000 Jews that live in Tehran, if that were the case. If the Iranians were these crazed maniacs, these crazy Muslims that just wanted to kill everybody and kill all the Jews, why are there 30,000 Jews that live in, in Tehran? Can, can someone please answer that? Of course not. You're being gaslighted on a massive scale, and these establishment uh, psychopaths own... All of the social media, they'll probably pull off this video. They'll probably ban, you know, my channel, whatever. But it doesn't really matter because that's a small price to pay uh, in comparison of the millions of people that are being displaced and the tens of thousands and maybe even hundreds of thousands of people that are going to die simply because these neo-feudalists are putting together a deal to make more money for themselves by establishing a shipping port in Gaza, because this is exactly what they're doing. You think this is a temporary thing, but it's not. You'll see. It's going to stay there. They're going to build this port, and then they're going to basically uh, shut down the... Or they're going to compete with the Suez Canal eventually in Egypt, and they're going to pretty much gobble up all of that business. So this is what it's really about. Uh, innocent people... Uh, apparently to the hegemony deserve to die because they're simply in the way of commerce. They're in the way of making money. And how dare you uh, be in our way, you poor, uh, sorry people in Palestine. Gosh, I mean, that's just, I guess, bad luck for you, right? That's how these fucking people think, okay? So uh, I hope uh, you can sit with this message and really think about uh, what's going on in the world and all these protests that are going on in American colleges um, don't try to politicize this. Let's make this a human thing because it really doesn't have anything to do with political barriers. It has everything to do with the neo-feudalist, fascist, corporate state and the establishment, okay, that wants to keep you confused. They want to keep you stupid, okay, and they want you fighting amongst each other for really what amounts to um, fighting uh, against yourself uh, and against each other when the real criminals, okay, the real people that need to uh, be in jail, okay, are standing in front of us on, uh, you know, they're on television and they're talking all of this, um, you know, stuff that they're going to do all of this and this and that. These are the people that belong in jail. So it's time that um, we start thinking about that. Okay. Well, sorry, uh, this has to be such a somber message, but, you know, some of these, sometimes uh, we have to say the right thing. Um, and we have to um, really think about what's going on in the world and why all of this is happening. And um, yeah, I hope you all have a wonderful week and I'll see you next time.